Light me up, don't you stop Cause tonight, it's on the line Show me how, you get on down Close my eyes, take me for a ride guys i hope you're all well and welcome back to my channel for another spritey vlog so if you have been around and seen our vlog when we went up to cold rain and did the arena eventing up there you will know that was in preparation for today so we are bicton bound we're heading up to bicton for the riding club qualifiers in the arena eventing which i'm super excited representing cornwall trek my riding club which i have been part of for many years just getting the girls their breakfast before doing anything else because otherwise they well they're already stomping a bit and wanting to get out so i thought first thing get them some breakfast got about an hour i did a lot last night so spritey is lovely and clean her mane's been done she's been bathed i sprayed her all over so to be honest she's pretty much ready it's just the case of loading the car up and getting going so yeah super excited so keep the girls happy get them their food of course not forgetting their balancer i mentioned this on insta the other day so addy after a discussion with blue chip we decided to put her on the same one that miss lola was on actually the uh, joint care super concentrated and then spritey is on the senior care which i'm sure you guys all know but they have one scoop of that in the morning and one scoop in the evening i'm actually if i'm honest trying to get Addy to put a little bit of weight on i don't know whether being a bit younger the change and stuff like that so she's um yeah i'm trying to just get her to put on a little bit of weight spritey is also having half the dosage of the joint rlf just because um she is getting a bit older and want her to yeah just give her that little bit extra but because there is already a joint supplement within her balancer blue chip told me just to do half the dosage on that so she has half of that we'll get some water and we'll give them their breakfast And it suddenly goes silent just horses munching so let's grab the keys let's load up the car then i need to park my car back because my dad is going to check my oil and water and everything before driving up there mummy d is coming along um just me and mum today actually tina is away at your horse live otherwise she would have been probably doing this as well but she's gone up to your horse live which i am a bit gutted that i'm not there because i've been we went there tina and i went a few years back now and yeah really really enjoyed it and would have, would like to go again but that's typical these things clash like they do all right so i got a lovely crisp clean white numner already in the car we need saddle bridle um and my gear basically right camera down and let's uh, let load up is all loaded and ready for dad to check the oil and then i've just come in and printed my numbers which i've remembered yeah excited 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 we're number 74 today and um, we're like only third in the class so it's going to be a bit of warm up walk the course get on warm up a little bit more and go in
Porterfield, hay net done, car loaded. Last thing is to get this little ginger ninja out, isn't it? Trying to get you out and clean you up, just check any stable stains or anything like that. I wanted to leave that to be the last thing, just in case it caused Addy to, I don't know. I don't know, I don't think she would, but to start kicking off. I don't think she will, but just rather not risk it. road we've got fuel happily driving up the a30 and something just went ting in my head ah! forgot my bridle forgot my bridle so a quick little phone call to christopher who i think was still in bed so so much love to him thank you christopher um he is gonna go pick it up and fly up the A30 for me and come and deliver it. I've just rang dad, he's got it out already just to hand him and uh, yeah so we're just gonna wait for Chris. Hopefully won't put us back too much. I did allow quite a lot of extra time to be fair, we're not on until half past 12, we want to be on for 12 so even if we got there at half 11 which is still two hours away from now, um, yeah we're fine, it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna actually get dressed now whilst we're waiting for Chris. And I could always go and put Sprite's boots on as well, to be fair, so then that's like, you know, a little bit, a little bit ready. Oh, as Dad just said, I am useless with a capital U. We've just had, bless Verity. Verity just stopped behind us, making sure that we're all okay. And I'm like, it's just cause I've forgotten my bridal. Um, but I've got Chris on live location. He's on the way. He's got the bridle and uh, yeah, shouldn't be too long. I hope he's no longer than like 10 minutes because then I will start maybe panicking a little bit about time, but I think it's okay. Bless him, I can't believe he's doing this for me. <laughs> Bless him. He's very, very close, very close. Oh, touch up the makeup going on over him. So yeah, he's not far away, thankfully. And uh, Spritey's got her boots on, I've put the tape on, I am dressed, so no need to panic. There's not much to do when we get out there, literally just pop tack on, hat and all. And there he is! Legend, legend, legend. You are a legend. Love you, love you, love you. See you later. We made it with 25 minutes to spare. I haven't got much to do really. She's got her boots on, I'm dressed. So just get out, tack up and yeah, we should be fine. Panic stations can calm down. <laughs> About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. I'm ready to go and look who's just coming to say hello. <laughs> good luck. Uh, good luck, yeah. And a very well done because Sam has just gone here on both of your rides. And I've green. Oh. But you've just said you've had poles all season and now you've just actually had a clear. So you're buzzing. <laughs> Amazing. Right. I would love to stay and chat, but I'm going to be late. So, um, yeah, mum's back. Let's head on down. Spritey is raring to go. She's very She's excited. Yeah, she is. <laughs> halfway, well, way over halfway walking the course. And that's quite a big little, oh, my phone is about to fall out the stand. That's quite a little corner. I'm going to swiftly go past. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so panic stations are over. Now, so we've walked the show jumping. It's one round of show jumps and then onto the cross country, which thankfully, Eloise was here because I thought, I would not have done that. And I would have gone straight to the cross country. Um, I wonder why there's a load of show jumps here. Anyway, 
Well, the show jumping, that's fine. Now we're on to the cross country. Just seen the corner, fence number six. And uh, now little seven A B. So that's quite nice. So we're following the purple numbers around today because it's 80. So got a nice double there. Is it really bad that I don't stride things when it's righty? Because, yeah, <laughs> she'll go on what, <laughs> she'll sort the strides out as long as I just keep a nice balanced forward rhythm. Um, so that's 7A, I'm going to concentrate on the last little bit of the course, go through it, go get my passport checked, then get on and warm up. Now, I don't know why, but I don't ever tend to do voiceovers for Spritey, um, probably because it will only be like two minutes of me saying how awesome she is, but I thought today's vlog, I will. So we've just done a circle, and there you can see we've gone over fence one of the show jumping, her little ears pricked up, she saw the fence, and then over fence two on a nice curving line. Now we are on the wrong leg here, but I know that Sprite is pretty balanced in a counter canter, so I didn't worry about changing. And there we got a lovely stride to fence three. We did get a little deep there on fence four, but Spritey's quick, careful, bless her. So uh, yeah, she was all good. Then you'll see throughout the whole round that I really do make use of the whole arena and go out nice and wide so that I don't change our rhythm, but just to hopefully keep the time down and on our side. Here we come into the NAF fence, the last one of the show jumping before we start the cross country. And coming around this corner, I'm sure the moment Sprite sees that it's a cross country fence, again, she picks up even more and is like, woohoo, it's cross country time. Bless her. Again, going really deep into this corner. Now this one I was thinking Sprite could be a little bit cautious about, but absolutely flew over it. And we just basically go all the way around the arena at the moment, the outside of the arena. So fence three and then on to fence four, which Spritey chipped right in at the last minute, but was all good. Now coming down to the line with the corner, the other fence on the course that I was a little bit worried about. But as you see, she flies it no problem at all. Bless her heart. Then we come around to the 7AB. Now we did rattle the first part of this double. She just slightly touched it and then I think we got a bit quick and then she again just chipped in, helped me out, but they both stayed up. And then again, going nice and wide all the way around the outside of the arena for the last of the cross country fences. And then here turning, it wasn't the nicest of turns to this last upright with wooden planks, but we got a nice stride, kept all our rhythm the same and she flew it. She was so good. So, so good. Helped me out a couple of times when I thought she was going to take a fly, which went, nope, I'll chip in, Mum. Yeah, you didn't go too fast. Didn't go too fast, two times. Yes. I did go very wide on the corners and stuff, though. Yeah. Um, I, I'm just keeping an eye now because Eloise is in, so this is another team member for us here. The ones that have just gone in front of you, are they. Uh, I'm trying to think now. One is, one isn't. Because they um, both said, like, Cornwall Trek white. Yeah, that's my team. She melts my heart. Doesn't she? Double clears for oh she says mum grandma I'm itchy. Yeah, not on my nice coat. No. <laughs> <laughs> you said that you weren't gonna wear it because you didn't want to get her slobber, so be careful. Oh can't literally put into words like she's just so epic and I love you very, very much. Oh cool track has done very, very well, TV. <laughs> all done very well. We're all done though, because we're all like in one group together. We all jump at the same time and yeah. But we'll get you back now, can't we? Yeah. Off you go, mother. Time for a little wash off. She isn't um, actually too bad at all, actually. She's not, not too sweaty, but this will just get the grime out, help her muscles and everything like that. But she's recovered pretty well. She's, she's pretty happy. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. 
Sorry, Nala, but you didn't go around any fences, did you? <laughs> You're looking. Nala, come. Well, you've got some hay on your nose. You've got a hay on your nose. <laughs> come on, you. You've got your dinner over here, Nala. Come on. You've got your dinner there. Mum forgot to bring a, forgot to bring a bowl, didn't she? So you just eat out of the carry bag. <laughs> I'm sorry, Poppy. I don't have anything. Whilst watching the 90 and the hundreds. Just 90 on at the moment, I think. Yeah. Right, let's get the mayonnaise out. Cheesy chips and coffee all ate and drank. And then we've been keeping a close eye on the scores because I know I had two time faults. Well, they said I had two time faults. Turns out that I didn't actually have any. And Sprite and I have been sat in first place for a quite a long time. Um, so we were only 0.25 of a second, a quarter of a second off the time, which for us that like never happens, but somebody has just snuck in and overtaken me, pushing us down to second, which out of however many people, there's quite a few in the class. I'm buzzing still, absolutely. It's just that they are, so they're 0 0.08 off the time. Um, so yeah, just squeezing in between that quarter of a second to take the first place. There are still eight to go, so we might get pushed down. Some other people might come in getting closer to the optimum time, but at the moment, I'm going to enjoy holding on to second. How cute does she look? Oh, I feel like I'm not... Oh, happy face, happy ears. What face am I pulling again? Yeah, I'm not too bad. I've got a little bit of a double chin, but not too bad at all. Bless her. And a pack of polos. And a pack of polos, yeah. She's probably about to be given the whole packet in a second. Your, half, your face is half in it at the moment. <laughs> I don't want to be in it. <laughs> Mum's just going to put her hand on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're almost home. We're back into Cornwall. And the light is very quickly fading. So I thought, quickly in the vlog before complete and utter darkness but what a fabulous day we are a lot later than what i was planning because we have obviously we waited for our rosette so we came individually second and go on mum you can hold it up for me the green one i think and then fifth and fifth as a team and then the other cool trek team came sixth as well which we've got eloise's rosette so when we next see her we can hand that over to her but yeah, we waited to get them. I, I still, I, I'll be totally honest, there is still a little part of me that can't believe I lost the win by 0 0.16 of a second. Nuts, absolutely nuts. But it doesn't matter. Today wasn't about coming out and yeah, I wasn't expect. I, I hadn't really thought about like being placed or anything like that, but when you're watching yourself in that first position and then get knocked out. Anyhow, it was just about coming out and having a good fun time with Spritey. So that absolutely every single box was ticked. It was brilliant. Absolutely loved every second as did she. And it was lovely seeing, that's the best thing about doing riding club qualifiers, championships team events because you just see everybody that you know and like familiar faces and catching up and lovely to see yeah lovely to see everybody and you get a real sort of teamy atmosphere around and yeah love it love riding club stuff and I know we have said it many times before but if you are questioning about becoming into a riding club joining a riding club just do it absolutely 100% would recommend doing it, it is brilliant fun huge thank you to jamie lee our team manager at cornwall trek put all the time and effort that she puts in to put all these teams together there was 11 teams from cornwall trek today 
So I can imagine that is an awful lot of organisation. So yeah, huge thank you and much love to Jamie Lee. Sadly, she couldn't be there today. But yeah, I was speaking to her last night and this morning and yeah, she just, she's a fab team manager and thank you for all that you do. And of course to mum for coming along um, and filming. And huge thank you to Bicton again. I feel like I've spent so much time at Bicton this year, but they had, done the courses out the arenas all looking beautiful a really lovely flowing course actually um the show jumps and into the cross country was really really nice they yeah done a very good course build and thank you to our sponsors keeping both myself and sprite safe stylish and able able to still come out and do these sort of events because yeah we both absolutely love it and hopefully it won't be our last to you guys for watching i hope you have enjoyed it as always like i end every vlog if you have please do give it a thumbs up oh. i haven't said <laughs> bye yet <laughs> <laughs> i wonder i thought you were gonna do a thumbs up you could do a thumbs up a thumbs up a cheeky comment or and of course hit that all important subscribe button if you don't already excuse me up um yeah but until next time i will see you all very very soon bye you can say bye now <laughs> <laughs>